What's going on guys? Welcome to another Jumpstart video and without further ado, let's just jump right in. Let's see what we get in today's uh, Jumpstart video. These are super fun and super easy to record so I just kind of been putting one of these out pretty much every day um, that we've been putting out videos and I really like it. Uh, let's see, Feathered Friends, Goblins, or Plus One. Um, I kind of like Plus One the best, just in general. Goblins is actually really fun too though. Uh, Feather Friends is good, but I've I've played a good bit of it, mostly off camera, but let's go plus one. Uh, dinosaurs or dragons? Dragons seems kind of fun. Uh, dinosaurs is also quite good. Let's do dinosaurs. Let's try mono green. Why not? Plus one dinosaurs. Uh, let's see if we can do it. I'm not even looking at the deck. I probably should. Let's go look at the deck. <laughs> that was a bit of a mistake. Let's see what we got. Um... It's always helpful to actually do that. I just tend not to. <laughs> uh, let's see. Thunder. Sure. 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 Wow. We have a lot of three drops. Holy crap. Okay. That's a good card. Um, yeah, dude. I'm in. Uh, Selvala is sweet. Um, I really like the dinosaurs archetype. We only got one, like, rare. Is that is that right? No, two. I'm sorry. Branching evolution. All right. Well, that's fine. Let's jump in. Plus one dinosaurs. Here we go. Mono green for the win. Um, theoretically, this works together because you just ramp a lot in both of these archetypes. Um, so there's that. Uh, but we'll see. Hopefully, we just have a lot of big nasty things to play. Magical mushroom. Look at look at this cute little fibble thip. Look at him. He's so cute. Uh, okay. Do we keep this? Uh, I'm gonna say yes. We have Selvala here, which is pretty sweet. Uh, to help us keep moving. We do need some lands, so hopefully we can get one or two off the top of the deck here. But, uh, if we do, we're in great shape. Uh, and we do have a two drop, which is nice. <clears throat> Alright, let's see what we get. Uh, discarding a card. Well, that's not great. Um, I think let's just get rid of the crushing canopy here. It's not amazing for us. Uh... Let's go ahead and attack him first. See what they do. Okay. Then we'll play this. Uh, this is helpful. It at least ramps us a little. Uh, we just have to hope it doesn't die. Which is unfortunately kind of a possibility. But that's fine. <laughs> oh, let's see. I really like Selvala. Really, really like Selvala. Um, okay. So we can do this and actually get rid of a creature here. Um, which honestly doesn't seem terrible, but let me, let's see. So, okay. Well, you know what? Let's play Selvala out. Let's make sure that we've got the uh, the mana generation going here. Cause I think that's a little bit more important at this point. Um, we can fight something off at some point, but this is going to give us, you know, the mana we need to hopefully get, like, a Dreadmaw down, and then we can just fight whatever we want, like, and it has Trample, so, like, that seems better. Um, Garrick's Uprising, also really, really good, uh, and definitely a card we're going to try and prioritize, but, oh, ooh, that feels bad. Um, okay, no, that's fair, you got it. Uh, don't like that, but there's not much we can do, so let's do this. Hmm. I really like this, but let's see. Should we just be mana efficient, though, is my question. Uh, let's put a 1-1 counter here. We're going to have it fight the rat, I believe. Um, and then we'll attack him. If they want to block, they can block. But that gets rid of their threat and gives them the opportunity to just, you know, lose their 2-2 their two -two here as well. Hopefully, this is mill, I assume. Uh, maybe not. I don't know, actually. Uh, but we definitely need to get some value going here, so I think that this is the correct way to do it. Sure, that's fine. Don't love it, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, let's get this down. Let's go ahead and set up for the next turn, I think. Um, we'll attack him for one. We take two here, and, like, that's fine, but it's not really, like, that's not just straight killing us. Um, we will need to discard a card here, which kind of feels bad. Yep. 
Um, White of Precinct 6. That is a very good card. That's helpful. Uh, let's get Dreadmaw down. It's very helpful. Less helpful now that this has a Capture Sphere on it, but that's fine. Um, sure. Uh, let's play this. Draw a card off of this. Um, we'll play the land here. Uh, it doesn't matter what we pick, I suppose, so let's just do that. Do we attack in here? I think yes. Maybe just with the 6-6. Six, six. If they want to, like, triple block, they definitely can. Like, that's 100% fine by me. Um, we definitely kill the white first. <clears throat> uh, just because that's the one that can grow a lot bigger than anything else. So, we need to get that one out of there. Okay. All these are just fine two twos, so that's perfectly cool with me. Uh, let's see. I think we just attack in and be aggressive. They can kill some stuff here, and that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna kill that thing first. Alright. This is a really good card, and that's why I say we need to be aggressive, is because eventually this just kind of takes over. Um, and that's a problem. Obviously. So. Goodness gracious. All we can draw are lands. Uh, let's attack. They get to kill it, draw a card. Really? Why are they not? I'm very curious as to why they're not trading this off. Um, seems like the best thing to do, but whatever. That's a problem. That probably means we lose unless we just draw something good, but I doubt it. Wow, that's very good. Ah, yep. Unfortunately, that means we lose. Man. Well done. All right, we'll go ahead and concede. We just can't block the, the flyer, so that's fine. Let's jump into game two. I love this format. I, I, I'm... I absolutely love this format. I think it is just a really fun, casual way to just have some fun. So let's jump in. Plus one dinos. See if we get there. Um, really excited also. I mentioned it in today's gameplay video as well, but um, our standard deck video, I guess you should say. But uh, really excited. Today is the last recording day for the JDC of this season. Um, we've been working very heavily as a team to figure out what exactly we want to do in the near future. And we have a lot of options, which... I'll be honest, I could not be more excited about. I think this is going to be such a fun little series when we really bring it to where it needs to be. Um, it's going to take some work, uh, a lot of effort on a lot of people's end, but uh, I think it'll certainly be worth the effort. Uh, let's just go ahead and get this down. Uh, Nessie and Hornbeetle might have been better, but this just defends so well. Um, in fact, this definitely was better because we could have been attacked, but that's eh, fine. Wall of Blossoms, sure. So, Walls X. We don't know what... What did they pick here? Black? Okay. Uh, I guess we should have taken the opportunity to play the Grove, but that's fine. Uh, misplays all around. So, I'll draw a card for each creature you draw with one, one counter on it. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, hmm. Again, missed opportunity to play the Grove, but that's fine. Uh, so, we do have the opportunity to attack with both here. I'm not going to. I'm going to wait. Uh, they're a slow deck. We're being a little... We have had better land drops than they have, for sure. Um, although, no, I'm sorry. I guess they're on a turn behind, so that didn't work. But um, I think we're doing okay at this point. We'll see what they do. We will see. Um... Also, kind of want to open up some suggestions from you guys. So, uh, any kind of like, so we've obviously been focusing a lot recently on gameplay, uh, with Jumpstart coming out, obviously, and like the new set, uh, core set coming out. There's been a lot of opportunity for that, but out of you know just the fun of it, uh, I'd like to kind of open this up a little bit and say like, is there anything in particular that you all uh, would like to see? Um, I don't know what that could be. I just want to open it up and see what you guys might think. Is there any kind of content that we're not doing that you would enjoy to uh, enjoy seeing? Um, if so, that's awesome, because we'd love to, to get your input and hopefully get something together for that. Uh, but 
Um, just curious, and that way we can, you know, hopefully make strides to make that happen. Um, obviously, the JDC is a big focus of ours right now, and we are going to continue the gameplay stuff, but uh, what are we missing? What are we missing that you guys would like to see? Um, I think that's important to ask from time to time, and uh, hopefully, you know, as a channel, we want to grow towards what everybody wants to see, um, whatever that might be, so sure. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's do that. We'll at least draw a card here. Which is fine. I um, actually really like that in this particular area. Uh, just because we can pump it up uh, in response to them blocking with the visionary. Yeah. Seems pretty good. I'm into it. Um... We do have two dinosaurs down, so if we can get this guy down next turn, then we're in, like, really decent shape. Assuming they don't just kill him. Um, they can always fight him off here, generally, in these these kinds of decks, but we'll see. Uh, looks like just a ramp, and then... Wow. Okay. Wild Size. Wild Size is a good card. Them playing that main phase means, I'm assuming, that they were looking for either a land or some kind of, you know, action play or something like that. Um, and they did get a land, so maybe that was what they were digging for. Um, but they are now down three mana, so what three drops could they have here? A fight spell? That's good. It's very good. Uh, we're not going to block. It has trample anyway. So we'd be taking a good bit of damage regardless. That's great. Let's get you down. And, whoops, nope. Let's attack here. If they want to block here, they certainly can. But it gets rid of their ability to use fight effects, which I think is important. See what they do? Looks like they're going to do it. Can they pump it up? No. Okay. Um, so now we can just start spitting out dinosaurs if they if if we've just got no other place to make, uh, which certainly not a bad place to be. Uh, let's commune. Death touch is really good. Uh, wow, that's very good. Um, let's do this. Uh, just because it gives us a death toucher. This guy is going to be a problem, though. There is no doubt about it. Um, this is such a good card, just in general. Uh, I will be happy to block it if they attack at all with it. Um, but this just gives them card advantage like crazy if they've just got more creatures to play. Don't like that. Not going to be... Not going to lie. Um, but at least having a Death Toucher out makes it a little bit trickier for them to just swing in. Um, but it does have trample, and that's that's a problem. That is a problem. We're not doing so well. Um, look at that little cat. I love that card. It's adorable. Yep. Spreading it out. That's interesting. Oh, look at that. Um, one, two, three, six. So is getting this down more worth it than getting this down? Probably not, right? Um, let's just activate this. It's a 4-4 four, four for essentially free. Um, now we can just attack in with this and then leave up some blockers here. I kind of like that play. Um, if they decide to block it, they can, but we get to kill off both of their things. Or one of their things, excuse me. If they double block it, then my assumption is that they've got some kind of, you know, pump spell, but this being death touching is kind of uh, an issue for them. <clears throat> okay. Um, we are at a bit of a precarious life total, but they do have to worry about the swing back at us, um, no matter what, so... Okay. It's very good. But this does take up most of their turn, if not all of it. Uh, which, again, is helpful. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. We are at a bit of an impasse. Um, be great to get a pump spell for this. Oh, look. 
Well, look at there. Um, God, I wish that was not sorcery speed. Hmm. So that would make it just powerful enough for this not to be able to kill it. So let's do this. <clears throat> I think that's the correct play. They can block it here. That's fine. And then we can have it fight the tree and kill the tree or fight the soul of the harvest. Oh. Well, we just do this and we get both of them. Okay. I mean, that was pretty good. Uh... Now, hmm. So my my worry is we can just fight this off and kill it, um, but I don't know how good that is. I think it's probably worth it because that's just way too good of a card. <clears throat> um, ours was really good too, but I think that that's just uh, they refill so easily and they've already done it. So like we're, we're in a bad position to be brutally honest, but this is at least lethal damage on board that they have to get around now. We just had to give up our biggest threat to get there, which to be honest, might've been incorrect. A hundred percent. Um, very easily could have been, but we're here. We're doing it. Um, let's sandbag and pass. <laughs> I don't like this. Uh, I really didn't want to give up that big threat, but I just think that Soul of the Harvest being such a powerful card, uh, it's difficult not to just want to get rid of it as quickly as we can. Wow, that is fantastic. Goodness gracious, that's good. Okay. Uh, I was going to say, if they attack in, I think there's a world where we triple block. <laughs> um, let's do this. Uh, we'll put a land out now and we'll pass. So what's nice about this is we can, um, you know, if they attack in, we just block in response and then we, uh, we use its abilities. So we mitigate the damage, but then also, you know, get a bunch of lands out and stuff. Fertilid is a very cool card. This is an interesting game. This is turning into a very interesting game. Yeah, dude. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. This also just thins our deck like super well. So let's do this. Officially declare that as a block. Uh, me. Get a land. And we do it again. This doesn't have trample, does it? I probably should have looked. Um, no, it does not. Good. All right, so we've at least thinned our deck a little bit, so we have a better chance of drawing some stuff. Um, we definitely need a better chance. That's not great. It's a card. Iron Shell Beetle. Look at that. Uh, let's just put it here. We could have, I guess, put it on the the pride cat <laughs> um but i don't think that that's correct to do so i'm also leaving up attacks here i don't know that i should though i should, probably should have attacked with the the four four and the three three but they eff effectively have endless blocks here um which is a bit frustrating um because every upkeep uh they're getting one ones yeah dude Chances are this does not work. Um, dude, okay, I'm being safe. This is probably also being reckless, but this gets somewhat around a pump spell, hopefully, theoretically. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. Don't have more. Oh, crap, they have more. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <clears throat> all right we are out <laughs> there is no way we could have done that all right cool well jump into game three turns out our uh very mono green deck uh is not going so well um 
bunch of that is misplays on my end, though, I will 100% say. Uh, oh, let's let's open a pack and set our mastery up. I like that. Oh, okay, cool. Um, let's add to our little mastery tree. Um, these mastery tree things are, like, kind of gimmicky. Kind of not into it, but, you know, if you get them, you get them. So I figure we play enough that it's worth it to get the, like, the leveled up bonus or whatever it is so it's fine it's fine cool all right let's jump back in last game with our uh, plus one dino deck hopefully we can get one win theoretically right <clears throat> um i think mentally this was like when i po i picked this pack i thought it would make a lot of sense and i think it probably does but like my misplays along with uh, maybe just a little bit of luck isn't really on our side, but that's fine. It is what it is. I like this because I don't feel super invested, um, if that makes sense. This isn't like ranked standard by any means. This is just you sit down and you have some fun. <clears throat> we take the land there for sure. Um, New Horizons will be nice though. Ooh, yes. Uh, let's get you down. Get a 1-1 counter on you. Um, against red, a little worried that they're going to have a lot of burn. Um, and by a little, I mean probably a lot. Um, but we'll we'll figure it out. New Horizons might be good just to get in there and start dealing a little bit of damage, but also ramping us. <clears throat> Interesting. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Uh, target that. Beetle gets a counter, and we'll attack in. Chances are they do not block. Yep. All right. Um, next turn, what do we do? Not really sure. We'll find out. What is this? Oh, it gets okay. Ooh, Selvala. Do you really like Selvala? Um, let's do this. Uh, let's just see what they do. If they block, we just get to kill this for free. So, gonna do it. Uh, there is a world where we should have waited on that, so we could have given a creature reach and killed the, uh, the black guard, but... I'm kind of in for just keeping some of their stuff off the field so we can keep getting in damage. That's kind of our goal anyway. That's a very good card. And they can just equip it now to you. It's very, very good. All right. Yeah, dude, you got it. Sweet. Rogue's Gloves is just a really cool card. All right, now. Play this little dude. Put a 1-1 one -one counter on him. Uh, and then do this. Let's get a 1-1 one -one counter on Selvala here. Uh, and let's get him. Alright. I mean, we got threats like crazy, which is great. Um, but, you know, we'll see. We're also really well set up for, like, just a nice top deck. Like, if we just get, like, a Colossal Dreadmaw, that'd be great. We'd get to uh, draw a card there, I believe. Is that correct? Whenever another game. Draw a card if its power is great. Yeah. Um, so, really, just any good, powerful card would be amazing because we've got all the mana in the world to cast it, which is awesome. Um, but they obviously are drawing a bunch of cards, so they're burying us in card advantage at some point here. So, that's why I'm trying to just finish the game quickly. Um, that's very good. All right. That's really good for us at the moment. Heck yes. Thank you. Um, huh. All right, let's attack first. Let's attack here. Hmm. I'm going to attack with a little bit of everything just to get as much damage in as possible. kind of just want to close this out. They can kill something if they would like. 
Um, they can kill the beetle in particular, which is actually not a bad thing for us because that just means that we'd get to draw a card off of the frill back. Yep. Uh, so, let's do that. Take action. Do this, and we'll just sit black, but it doesn't matter. All right. We got a win. Look at that. Uh, sorry if the frame rates were bad during that game. Unfortunately, that just happens. But we did get a win. That felt kind of nice. Uh, and I think that worked out really, really well with that combination of cards. I'm glad that that went as well as it did. Did we get two things? What is, it? What is this? Uh, okay, cool. We leveled up. Sweet, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, plus one dinos. An interesting archetype. I don't know if it's the best, but I enjoyed it. So hopefully you guys did, and I really appreciate you watching. Uh, if you do like these jumpstart videos, please let me know, uh, and we can do a lot more of them. They're pretty easy to do, to be honest. They're, like, really quick. So uh, if you're interested in watching more of these, then please let us know. And again, if you've got any other content ideas or just something that you'd really like to see, it uh, doesn't matter what it is. As long as it's magic-related, please let me know. Uh, maybe we can work out on uh, getting some of that content out for you guys. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next Jumpstart video.